Greenfield Productions presents. He had a meeting right now, so don't tell nobody. <laughs> Just in case you see this. Oh. The producer starring Trax a million. Man, look, man. And he got his cool clothes on, man. Look at that, man. We value the views and news of all. MyViewingLens.com To me, when you put a hook on top of a beat, it kind of conveys the idea of the track a lot better than just a beat. So I basically go into the booth and uh, just kind of fuck around just to see what I come up with. I went into the booth, try the idea, it was all right. The first idea I had was cool. I really didn't like it. Um, but that's how I normally do. I go in there and I just kind of play around and see what comes, what just happens. You know, I go in there and just naturally just press record and just go and just start mumbling words and start playing around with, with sounds and, and, and different uh, patterns and stuff and see what I come up with. So I, I messed around with a couple hooks. I actually changed my mind about three times. The first hook I came up with, I really didn't like. It was something about, I was saying something like, Something about a, uh, don't hate on me, something don't hate on me. Anyway, I didn't like that. So I was messing with that for a while, toiled with that for a minute, decided to go back and change it. Went back into the booth and changed the hook to another hook. Baby, what you drank is out that you can get it. I actually kind of liked that one. And uh, so I started playing with that one and just kind of seeing where that one went. Came up with a basic formula for the hook, you know, listen to it, play it around, you know, play it back, listen to it, play it back, listen to it, play it back, and um, I kind of liked it. By the time I got done finishing the hook, and I, you know, I came out the room, and I, and I played the beat, and I played the hook along with the beat, it was dope, but just something, just, I don't know, something wasn't really right about it. I think it was the wording, maybe I just didn't feel like the words flowed correctly. So I went back in one more time just to see, you know, just to fix what I, what, what I wasn't feeling initially. You wonder why we got the screen, the keyboard, the mouse in the booth, and the mic so we can record ourselves and we can see. I can see, really. This is really something that I require because I just record myself faster than anybody else. I know how to do what I like. Since I've been recording the hook, my man Drew Deezy came in the building. What it do, man? You already know, man. Drew D's fucking with tracks a billion, man. Yeah, we out here. My boy Num Trump came in the building. Yeah, man. You know what's up, man. In the lab. My man B3. What's up, man? You he, supposed to do? He, he had a meeting right now, so don't tell nobody. <laughs> <laughs> the black guy in the middle, man. <laughs> I make all this shit happen, man. Yo, man, that's the producer, man. They put the nigga in the middle. Where's it at? I got the cool look, man. Look, man. And he got his cool pose on, man. Look at that, man. Yeah, you know. He got his cool pose on, too, man. Put a nigga in the middle. Anyway, we finna, uh, I'm finna listen to this final version of this beat before I bounce with the CD. And here we go. Uh...
exactly how my day goes when I come into the lab. Come in, fuck with the idea, fuck with some words, and see what happens. Yeah. Y'all listen to the final product. I like it though, it's dope. But yeah, that's my diary for the day. Once again, I'm Tracks Million. And uh, you can check me out here. Tracks Million.